Hi there. Just gonna shoot a, a little core workout here for you at home. You can do this at home or at your gym. I'm doing it uh, two or three days a week. I've been warming up actually with training my core before I train my uh, my major muscle groups or my uh, functional uh, workouts, doing my functional workouts. I'm using it as a great warm up, get my body set and it's uh, doing wonders. If you wanna get a flat, flat tummy this summer, start including some of these exercises. Hands and knees. We got our clock going on a 30 second and, and 60 second uh, exercises. Let's go 60 seconds alternate arm and leg, leg release. Yes. This is a classic uh, posterior chain strengthening, core strengthening exercise. Strengthening all along the entire back of the body. And all of your core muscles work together so even if you want to flatten your tummy, you know, your, your abdominal muscles, of course, are core muscles, but your core muscles along the back of your body play a role in the function and strengthening of your tummy muscles as well, too. So when we train the core, we try to train all of the core muscles. So I do like to start with that alternate alternating arms method and then we move into the alternate arm and leg release and hold so we extend that leg out and that opposite arm out and we hold it for 30 seconds and the hold a little bit more intense obviously you're holding the same muscles in tension for a longer period of time than with the with the alternating release try to extend your arm as much as you can your leg as straight as you can lengthen out your body here we've got a superman version adding a lat pull to the superman the typical traditional superman exercise again working all along the back of the body all the erectors along the back of the body this is a traditionally weak spot typically weak spot in all of us today because we're spending so much time at the computer so the back of the body is becoming weak we're hunched over in the front of the body the postures is weakening along the back and get, we're getting tight along the front and that's causing neck problems, neck tension and uh, adding some core strengthening specifically on the back of the body is, is you know the solution. Here we've got the upwards facing plank the high plank uh, reverse plank pushing down through the hands raising your hips up as high as you can, holding your body rigid and trying to breathe. Pushing down through rear deltoids, lats, traps and rhomboids are pinching your shoulders black back together. Strengthening those traps. All of the core muscles along the back of the body, the glutes and the hamstrings also working same exercise you can do this same exercise on your elbows and to make it more challenging you can do the alternating leg release of course if you find the leg release too hard you can just hold the upwards facing plank on your elbows as well too next exercise we've got the aquaman as if you're swimming through the water Keeping those arms and legs straight. Kicking opposite arm and leg together. Quickly kicking. Trying to keep it up for 30 or 60 seconds. Whatever is appropriate for you and for your level of fitness. Again, strengthening all along the back of the body. Typical weak spots. You can take a 30 second breather, 15 to 30 second breather between activities if you like. Now moving to the front, the interior, 
interior chain, the traditional kind of core muscles, your abdominals. You can do this exercise holding on to the floor for balance and stability, or you can release the arms if you're stronger. It's nice to hold on to because you don't have to worry about balance, but if you're more advanced, you could do it with the arm release. Pedaling the legs, extending the legs, extend them out as far as you can. I like to start with slow repetitions, keep the momentum out of the activity. As you start to fail, you could add a little bit of momentum and move a little quicker. Draw the belly in. Try to keep your shoulders back and your chest out. Our next exercise here, the jackknife. Trying to pull your shoulders up off the mat and pull your shoulders towards your pelvis. You're trying to pick your pelvis upwards towards your shoulders. Pulling your knees in, taking your hands towards your toes or towards your ankles or towards your knees. Pulling both ends of your body together. Shoulders raising, hips raising and pulling together through the middle through your core. 30 to 60 seconds. What is appropriate for your level of fitness? Inhale as you extend your body. Exhale as you pull your hands towards your knees. We've got the body row, double legs, Double knees pulling in towards your chest. Always with abdominals, trying to bring your shoulders forward and your pelvis forward. Using your core muscles in your center to do that. Draw the belly in. Isolate the core muscles on the front of your body. As you start to fatigue, you can move a little quicker, add a little bit of momentum to help you finish off. If you need to take that 30 seconds break, 15 to 30 seconds break between exercises, wonderful. That's fine. Laying right flat now, bicycle, alternate arm and leg. Really fo focusing on trying to extend the leg out straight. Really push that leg out. Take your elbow across your body to your knee. Across your body to your knee, twisting across. I do like to do these slowly, slow bikes. Gets all the momentum out. Really gives you an opportunity to draw your belly in and squeeze your abdominals with each repetition. As you start to fail, you could move to a quicker pace and rip out some quicker ones at the end. This is a traditional Pilates exercise. Pilates classics, fluttering the hands, trying to keep those legs six to eight inches off the floor, 10 inches from the floor, and the arms, shoulders pulling up off the floor as well, fluttering the hands, fluttering the hands. Moving the hands activates that core even more. The core is responsible to contract before movement of arms and legs, all of the limbs. So. Fluttering the hands, moving the hands quickly is just adding to core work, core contraction. While you're holding your isometric abdominals. 
It's a great core workout to begin your functional training.